What's the best thing you've ever done to improve your health? Blocked someone mentally abusive. Stopped smoking and started going to the gym regularly. Saying no and eliminating toxic people in my life. Started working out and stopped drinking soda. Being compliant with my psych meds. 62 year old woman here. 15 years sober AF. 10k on the bike three days a week. 5k run three days a week. Green tea all day. Limited sugar. Mostly vegetarian. I'm worth it. Yoga. 10 minutes in the morning had changed so much about the way I his myself and how my joints function. I started after 10 years in the service industry and have been doing it daily ish for about 5. Sometimes longer practices but usually between 10 to 20 minutes. Back and knee pain are virtually gone. I know it sounds like some hippie shit MLM but it really works for me. I like cold chants on YouTube. Not a lot of chanting and incense and good explanations of why you're moving the way you are. Yoga with Adrian is great too. I quit my job and started drinking less coffee and more water. Cut my mom from my life. Bitch was toxic. I can put myself down on my own. Thank you very much. Stop working more than 40 hours a week. Started drinking water, and only water. Saves money. 2. Exercise regularly. Deleted TikTok. Started running. Work out every day and cut out alcohol. Stopped doing hard drugs. Asked for help. Seek a licensed professional. To avoid, in most instances, processed foods. Having a decent human intake AMT of water. Stop asking for validation. Start validating your thoughts, feelings, experience. Got a better job so I could afford better food. Also stopped eating candy and drinking pop. I started preparing my own meals and increased my hydration levels. Quit drinking. Stopped smoking cigarettes. Should probably cut down on the weed too. But I'm taking baby steps there. Raw dogging worldly suffering seems rather painful lol. Sleeping more and drinking less coffee. Stopped caffeine it stopped anxiety pretty quickly. I haven't always abided by these. But these definitely made a big difference at various times in my life. Getting at least 7 hours of sleep. Drinking more water. Taking vitamins. Abiding by something resembling a routine. Setting time limits on social media and screen time. Avoiding toxic people. Setting boundaries with my employer. Playing music. Finish what I start. Meal prep. Consistent prayer. Limiting intake of politicized news, podcasts and rage porn. Speaking of porn. A reduction in porn usage was a very good thing. That alongside investing in a good sex life with a long-term partner. Get a damn hobby. Reduce clutter in the house. Clean your room. Jordan Peterson anyone? Really limiting my sugar. Sodium. And saturated fat intake. Paying attention to food labels. Eating at home more often. Not snacking as much and instead just satisfying myself with big meals. I've probably lost 5 to 6 pounds watching what and how I eat. Stopped eating Nutella. Started transitioning. I feel so much more confident and happy with myself. My mental health is doing a lot better. And so is my physical health. Testosterone has really helped me with a lot of the symptoms of heads and chronic pain. Plus if it weren't for my frequent visits with an endocrinologist. They would have never discovered the nodules on my thyroid and high levels. And my thyroid would have been chugging away being hyperactive until it burnt itself out and I developed hypothyroidism for the rest of my life. So many things have improved. I finally have the energy and drive to work out more and take better care of myself.
and I can finally feel like myself and recognize myself in the mirror. Switch to vaping form smoking, and yes I know it's still bad for me etc. Getting a blood test, aka comprehensive metabolic panel, CMP, discovered I had a severe vitamin D deficiency. Doctor recommended taking a vitamin D3. 5000 U per day. Disclaimer. Not a doctor. Some people say that a CMP doesn't include a vitamin D test. Ask your doctor to get tested for vitamin D specifically. Before, I had suffered from brain fog, low energy, sad mood, felt tired all the time even if I'd gotten lots of sleep, etc. They were annoying issues but not serious enough to see a doctor, or so I thought. I had chalked it up to just getting older. This podcast inspired me to get a blood test. Specifically the segment on low testosterone. This American Life 220, testosterone. HTTPS www.thisamericanlife.org slash 220 slash testosterone testosterone the secret female hormone https u2.be slash 1stnmm0x9dy how low testosterone affects women when i asked my doctor she said a blood test normally doesn't include testosterone so she finagled it for me by requesting the lab to test for fatigue which does test for testosterone Your mileage may vary. After getting on a supplement and reaching a normal vitamin D level, I had better brain clarity, higher energy, happier mood, slept better, etc. Felt like my younger self again. I emphasize getting a blood test to find out what your body's specific needs are. Not that vitamin D or something else is a magic cure all. Maybe you might have hypothyroidism or something else. When you go over the blood test results, ask your doctor if you're at the high or low end of the range. You could technically have a normal level of vitamin D, omega-3, etc. But if you're on the low end, you could still benefit from taking a supplement for that thing. I could have spent years suffering struggling with bad biology and not knowing what was wrong. So thankful I got a blood test when I did. Hope this helps someone. P.S. Last time I shared this. A helpful user you, Board BSEE commented that you can also get a sleep study. HTTPS my.clevelandclinic.org slash health slash articles slash 12131 sleep studies. If you've had trouble sleeping, getting a CPAP machine might change your life.